for the last six years and uh, coming here to experience it for the first time is going to be uh, that much more important going back and explaining the organization to uh, to other sponsors, uh, to f friends, family and everything. My name is Jeff Archibald and I'm board chair of Kids Initiative. And my name is Irene. I do community development projects to serve the Kenyan local community. I partner with the different organizations and Kids Initiative from Canada is one of the organizations. She, she is very passionate about the work she's doing for the community and she is very much committed to it because you can always tell someone who has passion for the community. Because uh, one thing is, uh, apart from working with the community or partnering with the community, first you need to have a strong relationship with them. And out of that, the best thing about her and her organization is that uh, she does not come with her proposals. She allows the community to come up with the ideas and proposals for her to improve their lives. And so out of that, uh, for her to allow the community come out, out uh, come up with their ideas, so her project has been very successful. I have the opportunity to spend time with all these individuals in these programs, and then I think it's the. I think it's the huge um, the huge difference in opportunities and and access to to everything really like access to basic needs access to resources um, I I I come out here every year and, and get to oversee all the donations that we've made and it's it's phenomenal to be able to actually see the progress in every single one of our programs. But then you, um, you know, you spend time year after year with individuals, for example, at Mama Tunza and, um, you know, my, my heart breaks when I see a child um, at the center who's not in school because he's ill and, and you question it and, and the more information you get, the more you find out that it's, you know, there's, there's lack of resources to be able to get this child to a clinic on a regular basis or, um, or there's 
you know, not enough funds to be able to cover the cost of schooling and you relate it back home and you think like, we have free education, you know? And if a child was sick, we have free healthcare. We bring them to a walk-in, we, you know? Those, um, like just relating the two on a regular basis is probably what gets me most because I come out here and, and even though I can say our organization and all the donors back home have done so much, there's just like, an endless need for support still. So I come out to these programs and, and that's that would be it. Like that's what makes me the most emotional is just recognizing the fact that um, we just, we have so much, we have so much access to so many opportunities and so many resources and you come out here and you just see the lack thereof and, and you just want to do everything you possibly can to make sure that it's an even playing field because why shouldn't it be? Going out to the Molo IDP camp this year was, it was, um, it was almost like mind boggling. Had gone out to this refugee camp that was in in a position of needing assistance so much more than any of our past programs. The Molo is like in the middle of nowhere and the road going up to the, the camp is just, it was like a, like four by fouring and you know, it just there's the access there, we're going through you know, the farmland and uh, we saw everyone lining up and circling the entrance to the gate and it was like the entire community came out, all of the elders, all the kids, um, and they all swarmed around us and prepared it with two pieces of garland connected by a piece of tape for us to be able to cut before we actually entered into the program and everyone clapped and it was like this huge ordeal for us to be able to come and step foot for the first time in this project that we had implemented. That showed how important this, this project is for the whole community. And, uh, you know, that just almost brought tears to everyone's eyes there because of the, how appreciative they are of, of, that, of us supporting them. It's this huge piece of land that's completely fenced in and it was like, <laughs> it had flourished. Like there was rows beyond rows of cabbage and corn and beans and they had this structured plan of exactly where they were planting each piece and the corn was gonna grow here and as soon as this harvest is done, we're gonna use the seeds to be able to plant the corn over here as well. So as we're utilizing this portion of the harvest, this portion's gonna be growing. So we're never gonna be left without. But if there was anything I wanted donors to know about Kids Initiative is how adamant we are about utilizing our donor dollars efficiently. How important it is to us to have 100% of proceeds go to our programs. And how important it is to us to be able to bring that information back to them on a yearly basis. To be able to tell them the progress that's been made to be able to discuss the needs and our goals for the future and for them to understand that they're a part of the organization when they support because Kids Initiative is honestly nothing without our supporters. So when you support the organization, we want you to experience the same passion for the programs that we do. We want you to understand that your, uh, your support is what creates such huge successes in our projects.